A TV talk show icon retires. I spend way too much time at the DMV. I showed you my magical microphone. And I got to be a part of a really fun charity event. All this and more in Weekly Rewind. Highlights of all the videos I made this week. Let's begin. It was the last week of The Late Show with David Letterman. He was retiring after 30 plus years doing his talk show. And on Monday, I told you what Dave meant to me. I've been a fan of his forever. I have so many David Letterman things in my house. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, so I, I like Dave a little bit. I was a huge fan so much that I wore this shirt every single day, practically, of my high school existence, which probably explains why I didn't have a girlfriend until late in my senior year. Letterman taught us everything, from how to throw a bowling ball into a giant tub of pudding from a four-story building. That had never been done on television before, and he also inspired many other people, like Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Conan O'Brien, Seth Meyer, Jon Stewart, Stephen Colbert. Pretty much anyone on television today that's worth anything is a fan or grew up loving David Letterman. What's crazy is it seems like just yesterday that he started that show on CBS with Bill Murray spray painting his name on the front of the desk. Dave has meant so much to me in my life, my radio career, and how I present YouTube videos, and just, it, he made it okay to be weird. Tuesday, I gotta show you and tell you all about what I do for a living, which is voiceover. And I introduced you to my magical microphone. My microphone. I like to call him Monty. Can you see it? Can you see it? This microphone has seen some things, mostly my mouth really close up. But look, it's like a statue. I like to thank the people that believed that I could use this microphone to achieve my life goals and voiced almost everything. And don't forget about my failed yodeling career in Ot 9. Yodely, yodel, yodely, yodel, yodel. It's my passion. On Wednesday, after spending three days at the DMV, no, I'm serious, I came up with some good ideas, I think, for how the DMV could improve. I have been to the DMV in the last three days a record four times. No one wants to go to the DMV. Not even the people that work at the DMV want to be there. Sometimes that's really obvious. By the way, I'm number 214. What? What number are we on? Okay, cool, just let me know. And at least for all the extra fees and kind of stuff you have to pay at the DMV, couldn't they have like some free Wi-Fi or maybe a coffee bar in the corner or something? Although I don't really know if I'd want to drink coffee made by the DMV. I don't know anybody who's taken a great photograph for their driver's license and it's so few and far between that you're really surprised when you see somebody that has a good one. Why don't they just let us take our own photographs? I mean, we're all selfie experts at this point, and who cares more about looking good in a photograph than you, right? I took a better thumbnail picture for this video. And that one is even kind of scary. On Thursday, I got to be a part of a really cool local charity event here in Portland with Chevy Shop Social. Not easy to say, but it was a lot of fun and we raised over $10,000 for a local children's charity. This car is very beautiful. I'm just gonna do a little walk around. Look, look at those rims, yo. Yo, check out them rims. And the, the suede, the, it's not, it's, it's all natural suede interior. That's, that's not, no cows had to, this is like fiber, what is it called? It, it looks like Alcantara. But, uh, what is that? No, it's, is that is it's, that a beast you find in the wild? <laughs> yes. We're we're doing something called shop, shopping for Chevy. Do the it's the hashtag 
Chevy Shop Social. It's hard to try saying that. Chevy Shop Social. Chevy Shop Social. Right. Where we go and buy uh, gift baskets of uh, really great stuff for uh, no more than $250. Although I did spend $250.25 for my. What? And then. Uh, Was that your own money? Yeah, my own money. So we've just arrived uh, where we're going to be shopping for the Timbers gear. And uh, this guy driving the Chevy Vault. You see that yellow line? You're supposed to park. <laughs> Wait, wait, let me get... You're supposed to park. The car is supposed to be one side of the yellow line. All right, hold on, hold on. I'll uh, get it. Back it up. There we go. We're getting a bunch of soccer gear today. Nick is helping me uh, purchase the items for the thing. Two of those. Yes. Everyone, you have to... You can't just buy one ball. This looks very simple. <laughs> Goal. Sorry! Internet, look, it's a Portland Timbers ball. Uh, when they called your Sarah name, the crowd Chevrolet. went wild. No. And you have something for they Valerie? They called my name. Go ahead and I was busy talking. <laughs> uh, so thanks to everybody again for helping us raise funds tonight for Dornbecker. Um, so we've totaled everything up, um, and we have a final amount here to give to Mallory. Um, and tonight we raised $10,110. $10,000 for the kids. For the kids. Thanks to Chevy. Chevy Social. Shop se Chevy so so I still can't say it. So those are some highlights of the videos I made this week. If you want to see all of those videos in their entirety, links are in the doobly-doo. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you might see the little information ball right there. If you click on that or if you see it when it highlights, that means that it's a direct link to those videos. So now you've learned something. I'm so sorry you had to learn it from me. Before I end today's video, I wanted to congratulate my sister and her husband on the birth of their fifth child, little baby Jonas. He is my sixth nephew, and I have another nephew actually on the way, which will give me a grand total of 11 nieces and nephews. No pressure at all on me who has no children. I have two cats, is that anything? Thank you for watching. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You know, for my little baby nephew. I'll be back tomorrow with another glorious episode. Ta-ta for now.